aka No Shahi Akbar La L coming back at you with another masterpiece. This is part two of the pamphlet I wrote called Learn Why You Don't Need a Lawyer or Attorney to Handle Your Affairs. Find out what a lawyer or attorney is and who they really work for. This is part two. Part one, I gave you half of it. Part two, I'm going to give you the rest of it. You heard me? Check it out. In my first pamphlet, I stated what a lawyer and attorney was. Now, in this pamphlet, I would focus more on why you don't need them to handle your affairs. First of all, let me cite three cases that, pro that prove my point about why you don't need a lawyer or attorney. Okay? Case one, United States versus France. Case number D period, C period, N period, J period, 52F, 2D, 128. That's the case number, okay? It states, if you leave your circumstances to a lawyer, you have no self-interest, care not for freedom, and are happy with slavery rather than free dominion. If you accept a lawyer, you have already lost your case. His first duty is to the courts, not to the client. End quote. Okay? A lawyer is a solicitor for the court. Wrong. So how can they have... How can they lawyers have your best interest at heart when they lawyers work for the court, not you? He is the officer of the court. He does what they say, how, and when they say it. Case 2. Spikler v. Hassan. Case number 158F. 2D. 35,58. U.S. Appeals. D.C. 206. It states... Clients are also called wards of the court in regard to their relationship with their attorney. So this case goes deeper into the real reason why you don't need a lawyer or attorney to handle your affairs. Well, the word attorney comes from the word to atone, or atonement, which means to turn over goods, service, rights, etc. When you hire your contract with a lawyer or attorney, you have given up the right to challenge or question the courts. Lawyers and attorneys don't challenge the courts because they are barred from doing it. All right. What is what is a, the bar? The bar is defined as a legal implement or barrier, especially to the formation of a valid contract or to the pursuit or defense of a case. All lawyers and attorneys are barred from challenging the court. Okay. What a lawyer does when you when a lawyer does with you when you contact him as a client is a stay of leave. Okay meaning that he or she throws you at the mercy of the courts. Then you become what is called as persona non grata. That's defined as an international law and a diplomatic uses. A person not accepted for reasons particular to himself, to the court or government to which it is proposed to accredit him in the character of an ambassador or minister. Okay? Also, you are labeled non persona standing and judicial. That means capacity of standing in the court or in judgment, capacity to be a party to an action, capacity or ability to sue, in court. Basically, you are dead in the eyes of the law and the courts. You are considered non sir George, meaning not your own master, okay? Which leads me to case three, Davis versus committee. Davis committee versus line. Case number 290, KY, period 644, SW2D18,19. Okay, it states, War to the coast, emphasis in person of unsound mind. Okay, a person of unsound mind is defined as in case 4, Cheney vs. Price. Okay, it says, A person of unsound mind is one who is, is one who is from infinity of mind is incapable of managing himself or her, his affairs. The term therefore includes insane persons, idiots, and imbeciles. When you hire a lawyer or attorney, you are looked at by the court under these labels. Now let me look at what a ward is, okay? Ward is defined as a person especially an infant placed with the authority of law under the care of a guardian. You become a ward of the court when you hire an attorney or a lawyer to handle your affairs. Now, what is the court? Well, the court is defined as court. A court is an incorporeal political, a political being composed of one or more judges who sit at fixed times and places attended by proper officers, pursuant to the lawful authority for the administration of justice. All right, that's state versus divine. All right, that's case number there is 108 
Ohio 51 126 comma 14 n period e period 510 512 now we can see that a code is an incorporable bean what is an incorporable bean an incorporable bean is defined as incorporate without a body not of material nature the opposite of corporate all right and with that final definition of what an incorporate bean is i can say when you hire a lawyer or attorney you become non-existent inside somebody's mind. You are no longer real, okay? You become a fictitious person. You become the straw man of 14 amendments. I'm gonna get to that another path, okay? Here's another case. Civil Code, uh, Louisiana Article 460, all right? Settlement very Richardson. It states, in corporal things, in the civil law, things which can neither be seen nor touched, such as consistent in rights only, such as the mind alone can perceive. So there it is, the lawyers and attorneys you trust are playing a game with your life and have turned we the people into nothing in the eyes of law. Peace. Okay, so with that saying, following uh, thing on there, when you hire your attorney or a lawyer, what they basically do, they play a game with you because it's fraud because the lawyer and the attorney, they are members of the bar. So they can't even contract with you because they can't defend you because they are barred from challenging the courts, you know what I'm saying? So when you go in there, you become a ward of the court, you become persona non grata, you become a person that's non-existent. You become like an imbecile idiot because you don't have your own mind to speak to see things for what it really are, you know what I'm saying? And this is no more to go, I'm signing out. You can contact me at my email address, ammaster2001 at Yahoo, or you can hit me up on my Black Planet page, www.blackplanet.com. No more is gone. Peace.